historic church goes up in flames, causing this scene overnight in Sedalia. This church is located on West 4th Street. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez is live in downtown Sedalia now. Andres, where are crews in this investigation? Well, at this point, the state fire marshal is here on scene. The ATF is expected to join in on the investigation later on this morning. The firefighters right now are just monitoring hot spots uh, just in case they do rekindle. Now, this fire did break out just before 10 o'clock last night when a Sedalia police officer, Sergeant Ryan Reed, actually noticed the smoke at this uh, church. And we spoke to him, and here's what he told us. I mean, I've, I've found fires in the past, but uh, this one went rather quick. I think it was just due to it being a, an older limestone brick building with, uh, you know, all wood pews and things like that, just maintain the heat. As soon as windows started breaking uh, and it got oxygen, the fire just, just took off. Now, by the time the fire crews got here, flames were shooting out of the top of the roof, and the roof did collapse. No one was inside the church at the time of the fire, and those high winds uh, caused some of the embers from the fire to land on neighboring buildings. But with the help of the Pettis County Fire Protection District, they were able to prevent this fire from spreading on this block and even reaching City Hall. Now, the power back here is on after it was knocked out of this fire. And let me tell you, the first United Methodist Church here in downtown Sedalia is a historic one. It is is really a fabric of the community. Richard Sharp over at the live desk has been looking into this all morning long. Richard, what do you have? Yeah, and Andres, before we let you go there, you spoke to a police officer who got married in that church. Yeah, I did. He uh, was said he got married at this church. He's really sad that he won't be able to uh, see this church anymore. So it is uh, really a loss for them. It's been out here, uh, as you said, for about since the 1800s. Uh, so it really is going to be a big loss for this community.